Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about how I made the soft body animation using Blender. It's super easy, so I thought I would be sharing it with you. So let's begin it. Now hit A and delete everything in the viewport as we usually do. And now it's time to add a mesh and it's going to be a torus. Uh, okay, so now here is the drop down. Now just uh, you can increase uh, the minor segment to make it a little bit, you know, um, detailed, you know. And you can also increase the scale. And yeah, that's fine. Now it's shaded smooth. And we do have a torus right now. Now it's time to add something that calls, we call it uh, an icosphere and let's add it and increase the level of subdivisions to 4 and then shade it smooth. Now it's time to scale it according to the hole in the torus. So I'm going to turn on the scaling tool and scale it down so it can go through the have the torus object i think it's very big uh, so i'm gonna go to edit mode and click alt s i'll scale it down like that and now it's fine i can just scale the soft body a little bit up like that and i can also move it slightly over there and there maybe and i think it's good now it's time to start playing around uh, with this i will just Testing it out. If it's okay, then we're going to duplicate the torus. Okay, so now it's not a fun part. Uh, it's time to simulate some soft bodies. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're not using any soft body simulation. We're using cloth simulation. Well, it sounds like, you know, very different. But uh, you will understand what I mean by this. So first select the torus object. Uh, go to the scene properties, first of all. Go to gravity. And increase the gravity. So the sphere will fall fast and uh, you know will be dragged down very fast so i'm gonna make it minus uh i'm gonna make it minus 20 like that and now select the torus object go to physics tape and uh go to collision turn on collision and now select the sphere uh go to physics click cloth and uh select the rubber preset here and you can increase the share value to 150 uh, like that and the bending value to 200 under stiffness okay and uh, you can click pressure and increase pressure to something like 10 or maybe you can make it 15 so it will be a little bit uh, you know not will be so soft but will act like you know uh, I don't know how to explain it but you would understand what I mean okay so go to collision and turn on self collision uh okay so it's time to see what we get now it's time to play it and see if it goes through oh it's very small so what we're going to do we're going to scale it up like that and let's see uh what we get okay 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 let me just show you as you can see it's very soft and we don't want it to be like that so in order to fix it, we got to increase the pressure to something like 30 and we're going to increase the shear value to 200 and the bending value to 250, something like that. And now let's see what we get. Okay, so I think we likely need to increase this bending value to something very crazy like 500 and I think it will fix the problem. If it's not fixing it, okay, it's not fixing it. Now it's time for some pressure. Because we gotta make it something like 60 and it's going to fix the problem. Uh, okay, now as you can see, it's uh, stuck there, you know. I'm just gonna make it something like 40 maybe. And let's see what we get again. Okay, we got it very soft on 40. I'm gonna make it 30, no, no, not 47 maybe. Just play around with the values until you get the perfect one. I think I'm going to make it something like uh, 49 and that's fine. I think I love it. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now how to make the animation. Like uh, we have so many Taurus objects uh, as you watched in the beginning of the video that I made an animation where there are so many Taurus objects or those, uh, those objects. So I'm going to duplicate it. You can click Shift D, but I'm holding my in my uh, left hand, so I can't move to my keyboard. So I'm just doing everything from the mouse. 
I'm just gonna right click and duplicate object uh, maybe and it will move it on the z-axis like that to here and again I'm gonna click shift D on the z-axis I have left my mouse right now okay just slightly I'm gonna select both of them and shift D you can also make a looping animation with that but I'm not going to this step because it will take some time to fix okay so let's play it oh as you <laughs> as you can see uh, we got a top view and uh, just turn off this for now uh, we have messed up the location of uh, all of those if you select an object hit N and as you can see we have uh, something like uh, minus 5 Z I think I'm gonna delete them because they are not uh, in a row I'm going to reduplicate them again because I did it with a mouse and it was not accurate so shift D grab it and accurately on the axis then shift D and then the axis it will not make problem if you do so okay shift D and Z something like that and now let's see what we get here oh oh shit we have turned this off now turn this on and let's see I hope it's gonna go shit <laughs> it's 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 a uh, pressure decreasing with time so what we're going to do we're gonna go to the pressure value hit I I will add a keyframe to the pressure when it reaches somewhere here it's gonna be something like 70 or maybe 75 and hit I so now what it does it will increase the pressure inside this object oh shit okay so 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 so, so. we're gonna move the keyframe a little bit further and now it's going to work let's see oh okay 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 I'm gonna move this backward slightly and see what I get now okay I think it's a little bit farther down and also I'm gonna move these uh, to the first one and let's see what we get okay we are we are near uh, so I'm just gonna move the, these uh, these this keyframe a little bit uh, backward and now let's see <laughs> okay so it's stuck at the end why is that I don't know but I'm just going to move it like that maybe two frames backward I think oh okay I think I have increased the pressure very high to the ending keyframe so I'm just gonna stay on the ending keyframe and turn on auto keyframing and I'm going to make it uh, maybe 60 yeah enter and it will automatically add a keyframe because I have turned this shit on let's see what we get okay 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 okay, okay. Oh, it's still stuck in there. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna move this final one to a little bit farther away and let's see what we get again. I hope this time we get some perfect shit. Mm-hmm. It's again jumping out. I'm just gonna move it to that way. You can play around with the values. It's simulation, it's not accurate always. I, at, when I tried for the first time, it was super accurate, but now it's not happening the same way. I don't know and I don't care. I'm gonna make the ending one to something like 50 maybe, and we can just move around and see what we get here. Okay, okay, okay. go, go! Oh, shitty. Okay, so I think this doesn't have a solution. One solution we can take is to scale this shit up a little bit. And then it will go, it's going to likely going to work. Oh, we have added a keyframe. Just turn off this shit. And now this shit is going to work. Do you know? 
Okay. As you can see, this shit works. And we're just gonna scale it down slightly so it matches the other one. And I think we are likely done. Yeah, okay, fine. Now, uh, what about the camera animation? Well, you can just add a camera uh, here. And I'm gonna go and add a camera. Go to view, camera to view. And I'm going to set the camera to here. I'm gonna make an Instagram size 1080 by 1080. So it's uh, squared, you know. I'm also gonna, gonna wanna increase the focal length. Something like that. And now what you can do is to click I and add a location and rotation keyframe. Maybe you can turn a location and rotation keyframe. Okay, when it get down, just move it on the z-axis. Like that. And maybe you can click T and make it a linear. So I think it will follow the ball. Okay, so the ball, when the ball hit the torus object, it stay for some time. So what are we going to do? We're going to move this up. We need to add the ball. And we're going to move down. Okay, so it moves down continuously until it reaches somewhere there. Oh, okay. Okay. You just got to fix. One thing I would like to say is to stay the ball uh, in the center of the camera. So it will be fun, you know. Just try to always keep it in the center. Which does make it very good. And okay, as you can see, it moves down a little bit. So I'll do it something like that. Maybe. And I can move it down like that. Maybe I can go down further. And I think we are done. And I hope you got me. Okay, I'm gonna make it 110. So, uh, you can make it a loop also, uh, but I'm not going to this step because it's going to take some time. Okay, so that's fine. And uh, now it's some, some time for material. Well, the material is super easy. When we go to the first frame, we're going to select the torus object. I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to decrease the roughness and make the transmission to high, a very high number. And uh, for these sphere object or the icosphere i'm gonna open up a shadow editor i'm gonna click new and i will add a new material into it um i'm gonna add uh i'm gonna increase the metallic value if possible and i'm gonna make it a little bit darker and i'm gonna add uh an, a texture which is an image texture uh i'll add it to here click open i have an imperfection uh images uh from somewhere I'm not going to connect it to the base color, but I'm going to connect it to the roughness. And I'm also going to add a converter, which is a color ramp. Oh, shit. I think I messed up with the camera. I'm just going to turn off the camera to view. Right now, as you can see, we have uh, a color ramp going on. Maybe we can just play around with this. I'm just going to move it to that side. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decrease this value. And I think it's fine. Okay, so I have an HDR. I will put the link to every shit in the description down below. So you can also use it. I'm gonna use an HDRI from somewhere. I don't know. But I will use it. And I'm gonna, if we are in material, I'm gonna turn on scene light and scene world. And it's okay. Now it's going to, what it's going to do, it's going to make it cool you know oh okay okay so we need to bake it because it's gonna messed up i'm gonna go to cache and i'm gonna bake it so we don't miss it okay so it's about to finish okay that's fun i liked it love it you can add some uh, sort of assets in background and move things around you can also add the same material. You can also change into cycles render. If I go to cycles and turn on the film and it's transparent, if I go to there, I'm gonna, okay. Oh, I'm gonna make it a GPU compute. 
Okay, fine. Torus object, I'm gonna use the same material as I did before. For this one, this one, and this one. And now, as you can see, it looks interesting. And I hope you understood me. Uh, consider subscribe. Thanks for watching.